Um, it looks really good, smells really good. And as of right now, like you said, it's undefeated. So I plan on being the first on the Wall of Fame. Let's see if he's gonna be able to take home the Fleet Admiral's Challenge Coin. So for the challenge, we like you to stay seated. You have beverages you can drink. You have sauces you can dip the meat into. You are allowed to take this, these sandwiches apart to make it a little bit easier for you. And that's basically all we have. You're allowed to set the challenge up anytime you want. Timer will not begin until you take your first bite. So that makes it a little bit more fair for you. So if you're all set here, mm -hmm. let us know when you're ready to go. And my assistant here will start the timer. All right. Go to Randy Santel here. One, two, three. Boom. Hey guys, we are in Denton, Texas today at the Patriot Sandwich Shop taking on their Fleet Admirals Challenge. What this is, is two giant, and I do mean giant meat and cheese sandwiches uh, with a one pound side. I took a macaroni and cheese. We do have a granola bar with this, as well as a bag of chips. All in total, the challenge is right on six pounds. We have 45 minutes to finish this challenge and we'll win a sweet t-shirt and we're actually going to get a challenge coin that says i sank the admiral's challenge on this one kind of neat never got a challenge coin before for doing a challenge uh the, this business patriot sandwich shop is veteran owned they're trying to give back to the community a lot of their profits go right back into uh homeless veterans trying to get them off the streets all the meats at the patriot sandwich shop guys is marinated in-house uh, I would say the quality of the meat at the Patriot Sandwich Shop is actually a step above Boar's Head. Boar's Head is great. The Patriot Sandwich Shop is awesome. If you're ever in the area, it's worth looking up the Patriot Sandwich Shop in Denton, Texas. And come by, give them some business, guys, and help them give back to the homeless vets. Great, great challenge. Enjoying it. Let's get back to it, and let's see how I did, guys. guys this first sandwich is going down pretty good the meat is awesome uh the cheese is a little hard going down uh not because it's not fresh or anything but what they did is they went ahead and made the sandwiches earlier and they put them in the refrigerator so the cheese is kind of hard uh i'm getting through it i've got plenty of time i've got the 45 minute time uh limit i was going to try to bust a half hour 
Not quite sure if that's going to happen, but the food is great. Very great, very good, good tasting uh, challenge to say the least. Definitely glad I made the trip up to Denton. Uh, but I'm going to let you go here and just keep working on this challenge right now. Right around 11 and a half minutes for the first sandwich, guys. It might take me a little bit longer than I thought, but it's really, really good. We're still gonna beat it. Hey guys, I'm really enjoying this challenge. Like I said, the meat quality, it's the highest I've ever had. Better than boar's head. I got to this challenge about a week before Mr. Randy Santel did. This challenge was done when Texas started opening up. The restaurants were opening. A lot of pros were coming to Texas. Randy designed this challenge for this restaurant. Uh, I was able to get in a week before he did because Randy said, Hey man, go ahead and go for it. I'll let the business know. So if you want to check out Randy's video, just look it up on YouTube on Randy Santel Food Challenges. Let's just keep going. Let's see how I did. I already let the cat out of the bag. I did beat this challenge with the 45-minute time limit. Great, great challenge. Great, great business. Patriot Sandwich Shop in Denton, Texas. Hey, guys. Another pro that has this up on his YouTube channel is Brandon, the garbage disposal. Go ahead and check him out on this. He has to set the tone for something. Guys, we're right around 15 minutes, 45 seconds. Uh, I'd say about two thirds of the sandwiches, the second sandwich is done. So it's coming along.
right on 20 minutes, guys. You got 25 more minutes? I think we got this. second uh, restaurant food challenge winner. So, we're, we're getting to help him build his portfolio. We definitely want the most tasty ones. Definitely. Well, I take, I take a lot. guys right here is when i realized i have not did a six pound food challenge in quite a while it is starting to kick me in the butt but i know i can get through it just from my training so let's see what i end up getting i said under 35 let's see if i'm able to do it you know what guys i think it's gonna be closer to 40 minutes on it let's see what happens Ooh. ain't gonna be done in 30 guys but it'll be done under 45 
right, the two big meat and cheese sandwiches are done at this time. I've got a pound of potato salad I'm working on right now. Earlier I had said it was a pound of macaroni, but it's actually a pound of potato salad. I've also got a cookie I've got to eat, a granola bar, and I've already finished the chips because I was eating the chips at the same time that I was eating the meat and cheese sandwich. It's definitely gonna be under 45 minutes, guys. Let's see where I do end up finishing. Forty minutes. There's five minutes left on the clock, and we are done. 